Strap around your waist, clip at the front, then tie. There's a red tag and mouthpiece for inflation. And a whistle and light. Make sure you only inflate your life jacket after you leave the aircraft. In the unlikely event of an emergency, make sure you're familiar. G'day you absolute legends. Welcome back to another video. I am in Taiwan uh, doing the Taiwan KOM challenge. We arrived last night, so flew into Hong Kong yesterday, uh, late evening, and then arrived at about 10.30 last night here in Tai Chung, which is on the west coast of Taiwan. Now the KOM challenge is a 100 kilometer race, basically straight uphill. Probably not my sort of race, but uh, I'm doing it just for a bit of fun, a bit of social. And uh, it's 3,250 metres of, of vert. So it's going to be a tough day out. Apparently it's very hard. Uh, the GCM boys did it a couple of, well, two years ago. And uh, I watched that vid a couple of times. Mate, it looks insane. So this is, this is going to be a tough gig. Uh, going up the climb, don't try to follow people. For when you're trying to follow like the pros and so on, and you were like, oh yeah, I'm getting ahead now because I'm dropping my mate. Because you went too far and you went too hard, you're going to actually suffer later. suffer later and your mate is probably going to pass you and put 20 minutes into you because you went too hard too yeah. early yeah. so my advice is to look at your power and stay uh, more focused on your heart rate because your heart rate doesn't fluctuate as much it's super steep like the whole race is about the last 8k so up to that it's just a cruise so say a cruise we're only going to be 20 guys hitting the last 20 uh, 8k but uh, it's, it's gonna be fun, uh, like you have that ramp and there's literally, I have one spot where I've been attacking every single year or one. Uh, and it's right when you hit the 27% and that's where I'm gonna go again this year, so wait for it. There's a, uh, I might hold him, but maybe not win this time. Oh really, he's not 100%? I don't know, I, I, I'm trying to tell him not to have too much stress. Yeah. yeah that's why I took him to... Uh, yeah. He stresses himself too much. Does he? Yep. Alright, one thing I found super cute about, if you can actually even say that about a factory, is uh, it's, they've got rescue kittens. The, cute, the cutest little kittens here, apparently they found them and uh, they were almost dead, so they're the, they're the mascots for the factory. Hello! They don't understand hello though, do they? All right, so the Taiwan KOM challenge starts in Hailin, Hailin City, and then goes left up here, all the way up the climb to the top of the climb. And we were staying in Taichung City, that's where the factor factory is. So we had to get around to this to, uh, to the start somehow, and uh, we thought, why not just go straight over the top? So we ended up driving the car over the top and uh, checking out the route. Alright legends, we are at the top of the mountain, 3,225 metres. We've actually come up from Tai Chung, up the other side. We're at the top of the mountain where the finish is tomorrow. And then we're going down into Hai Yun, Hai Lin, Hai Lin. I can't say it, but anyway, that's the town that we're going into. We're staying there tonight. And uh, it's gonna be game on. So, mate, I'm a little bit car sick to be honest with you. It's just such windy roads, I'm sitting in the back. And from this angle right here, it looks very, very steep. We've actually come up the sort of placid, gradual ascent side from Tai Chung. This is much, much steeper. This is the, uh, the famous sign at the top of the mountain, 3,275 metres above sea level. And uh, that is 1,000 metres above any of the big climbs in Europe. 1,000 metres above any of those climbs. So that's pretty impressive. Oh, I'm excited for tomorrow. This is going to be good. I'm just going to go easy. Look, we are walking down it now, and it is steep to walk. It is. Let alone riding up this. 
after we've done a hundred kilometres, <laughs> and the last nine of it's like this. Yeah, how is it? Or steeper. Oh, how is it? I want to cry. Yeah. What are you taking on the ride tomorrow for food? Uh, two it's... bars and uh, two gels. Two bars and two gels. Yeah. Okay. I've just got gels to take. Have you? I was thinking uh, the altitude's going to get me and I won't be able to chew. <laughs> so yeah. I've just got gels. What's that? Talk to us. How do you get so lean? What is that? That's the first lunch in two months. Because he eats rabbit food. <laughs> rabbit food, he We've got a massive line of cars, obviously, because everyone's going to the event. And I think there is a landslide. Well, there is a landslide, but I think that's the hold up here. So what the boys are doing is they've decided they're going to get on their bikes, they're going to ride down the mountain, and uh, we're going to drive down. Is this allowed to go on YouTube, mate, or is this age restricted? Yeah, you want to rest? I have nothing to hide. I'm sure the girls have seen it before. Uh, that's where all the weight is, in your undies. Yeah. So the van colour will come in this, um, obviously still raw carbon, but with the um, reflective silver logo. So looking sharp, but keeping the weight down. I've never it's seen a bike so light in my life. Uh, <laughs> like, that is crazy. <laughs> the big hitter. <laughs> Here he goes. Are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> the you big know, hitter. Game, game on the way past. He did, didn't he? Yeah. He made serious. Really All right, legends, we've arrived after how many hours? How many hours was it? Seven and a half. Mate, it was like seven hour drive over the mountain. We're all pretty exhausted. We're actually, I'm more exhausted from that drive that I reckon that I will be tomorrow riding the event. But anyway, um, Gary here is a mechanic, pretty pretty well known, prestigious mechanic uh, from my understanding. But uh, he's putting my bike together, so I think he knows what he's doing. And um, we've got all the bikes and the wheels and stuff out. So we've arrived at the Park View Hotel. Is it the Park View, Park Royal, something like that? And there's thousands of cyclists here, so uh, we're getting amongst it. Score! What is it? Waterproof bag for my kayak. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I think I've got one too. Oh, God. I've got a water bottle, which I just bought water bottles at the shop, and I've got one too. Oh, it's either a fly catcher or it's a fan. Spanker. It's, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see who out of us three gets up this mountain first. I think you will. I think you will. And then Cal and I will sort of have a few coffees here and there. Well, how, about, how much do you weigh, mate? Well, I'm 90 and you're 95. 95, Sean? I don't know, actually. I haven't weighed myself for a long time. You'd be 88, 85? 85, probably. Yeah. So you're going to beat us. All the fattest people in the race are right in this room. Are right, right in now. this room. I'm not shitting you. We went downstairs just to check out the competition. There were skinny people everywhere. Hey, pro cyclists walking around in their kits. <laughs> and the horrendous three, I call us. <laughs> I the, wearing black. the horrendous three. Uh, the, the, we're Why huge. Trio. We're huge. But we've got the Giro della Donna next month. So this is good training for that. Fun fact, I weigh 36 kilograms more than the favourite. 36 kilograms. Do you know how heavy? That's so heavy. It's like more than a bag of um, sand. Yeah. Like you buy from the place, you're a big one. <laughs> I love this smoker. I love you. <laughs> Next up, we would like to give the floor to Mr. Ursh Keller from DT Suisse to give us a few words. You! Yeah. Ah! Everyone!
Hey brother, what's happening? Cycling for the madness. What's up, cracking human? Let's do this, man. I didn't, I didn't expect you here. The biggest hill climb ever, yeah. but it's good to see you. Yeah, uh, well, I need the training. I need the training. All right, legends, so we've started the Taiwan KOM Challenge. Uh, we're, I think we're 19 kilometers in. No, we're 30 kilometers in. How good's that? So yeah, we've started. We're, uh, the bunch is broken up and they've gone up the hill and I'm at the back. So someone from the front I think it might have been Andy Naylor. Lost his uh, gillet, his gillet, however you pronounce it. And it went in my rear brake, my disc rear brake, and just wrapped around it. So I had to spend a couple of minutes trying to reef that out. All right, 42 kilometers into the ride. Uh, I sort of feel like I'm at the back, but I'm semi at the back. I think there's still people behind me. So uh, yeah, just gotta push on and uh, not push on the pedals too hard. Phew! Not push on the pedals too hard too early, which I've already done. Uh, first feed stop, about two hours in, and it's bad. Can't believe we've still got 60 k's to go. I don't know where Moven is, I don't know where Andy is, I don't know where Sean is. I just know I'm hurting. Oh, well, this could be my last message. See ya. We're 60 kilometers up the mountain now. It is starting to get very chilly. A lot of cloud cover coming in. So uh, yeah, I feel okay. I stopped at a feed station very quickly to fill up my water bottles and I had three bananas. Stuffed a couple of bananas in my back pocket. But uh, I don't know, I'm so rusty at this vlogging thing, I don't know whether I told you, there is a cut off at the top and uh, 20 k's from the finish, there's a left hand turn. And if you're not at that gate uh, by a certain time, and I don't know what that time is, you uh, that's it, you're out. So they bust you to the top. So. It's sort of hard for me to do this vlogging thing because I've got to get my head down and bum up to get to that gate and then once I'm past there I'm good. Well, a bit of an update. I found Sean. He's over there, 17 in the uh, queue. That's his bike. And Maven is MIA. I don't know when he's going to rock up, but uh, I think I know who's going to finish third today out of the three of us. See you later, Maven. I've got to get this on camera. I've had to pull over the five or six curves going on. Have you? Just in the herd box. What's going on, brother? Cramping. Cramping. It's just like cramping the side of the tunnel. It's sitting crazy. Yeah. Yeah, one minute off the time to go. It's 
Yeah. Well, if there's one thing I want to achieve today, I want to beat him up the hill. And it's looking that way. Oh well. We'll say goodbye to them. I think next time I'll train. This is where that landslide was yesterday that we got stuck at, so it's nice to know we're making progress up the hill. But I can remember this bit. We're so high, we're above the clouds, mate. That's, that's crazy, it's insane. And I'm so cooked, so cooked. So we're 86 kilometers in now. Uh, I've passed Cal, he's back there. Um, he's suffering from cramp, but I am broken. I have never, ever wanted to get into a shuttle bus like I do now. So, I don't think I can do the last 10K. That's how fucked I am. I'm so fucked. All right, I have some bad news. I'm at the uh, feed station here, having some food. I've got uh, probably 20 kilometers to go to the finish and they're pulling people out of the race. So uh, the police are over here and I haven't made the cut off for the gate. So that really sucks, but um, I've got to be honest with you right now. I'm like, thank you, thank you. But I am disappointed, I am disappointed. Basically, they've stopped at about a kilometre and a half to go. And they've said, you guys can get out and just finish the last kilometre. But the thing is, when I'm done, like I've travelled 10 k's in the car. When I'm done, I'm done. Come back next year, right? Like, I don't want to get out and travel this last kilometre up this climb. I just want to be in the nice, warm, cosy car. Kilometre to go. And uh, there is the top just there and there is people walking left right and center oh, i'm not joking i would pay a thousand dollars for a lift right now in one of these cars It's been watching your last few posts. I'm not going to say it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it is very close. It's clear, so, yeah. Very close. Like, I am destroyed. <laughs> not just destroyed. I am destroyed. <laughs> it's not for the big man, this course. <laughs> <laughs> so why is Johnny still see you, so right? So they make you ride the last K? No, I didn't. I, all right, no way. Yeah. This is not a fun ride, right? This is not a Fondo. Like, I was expecting to see all these fat people here and just riding a Fondo casual. No, nah. this is a proper race. You have to train for this. 
You gotta be lean. We're the fattest fucks here. You gotta delete, we are the fattest you gotta delete fucks. Delete your Uber Eats account. Delete. Delete your Uber Eats and deliver Deliveroo, please. I can't wait to Legend! Hey, Jason, what are you doing? Oh, 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 Jason, what are you doing? You never walked? I never walked. I Did you stopped. stopped? Yeah, you yeah, stopped, stopped yeah. a few times. Yeah, I stopped many, many times. I stopped a few times on that last time. But... Yeah. Uh, no, good on you, mate. Right, well done. You. Legend. We have arrived at the hotel. I, uh, I am wearing pants, believe it or not, right now. But it's, it's not a pretty sight. I'm a bit shirtless. But how, how's this view? So this is the lake we're riding around tomorrow. So we're doing a bit of a social ride around the lake tomorrow. It's a bit of a sponsor's ride. And uh, it's about a 20 kilometer loop around the lake. So, and we're in the nicest hotel, man. I've got to show you this hotel. Some of the, some of the little areas like out in the main lobby area of this hotel, overlooking the lake, absolutely stunning. We're here with all of the Thailand, Taiwanese uh, distributors and factor people. So there's about 30 of them on a sort of jaunt, jaunt, jaundice, jaunt, jaunt, jaundice. Jaundice is when you. Your face it's when your face. <laughs> I should know that I'm in the medical game. Uh, I thought you were going to say you're about to <laughs> suffer from jaundice. Yeah, to go I, up another climb today. I feel like I'm suffering from jaundice. Well, this is a very romantic moment. It is. This is our last, on our beautiful romantic holiday together here in Taiwan. The last moments Maven and I will share on this romantic, beautiful lake as we head back to the hotel for one last Cut, one last cuddle. <laughs> spoon, one last spoon. Now, nah, look, it's been a it's been a great four or five days with the boys. I've had an absolute ball with the Factor crew here in Taiwan. And thanks for having me on board, brother. Pleasure, anytime. Thanks Hopefully for having me aboard. We should do another one. We're thinking about doing dirty, dirty Kansas next year, so training up for that. So that's going to be a toughie. I Are think. Are we going to actually do some training this time? We'll definitely do some training. I I have had my ass handed to me this weekend this trip and uh it's really kicked home that you know it's time to train but yeah dirty cans are next year so it's official factor are going to be going to it so we need to hashtag at dirty cans and get us get a good squad there it'd be good to get a few people there that we know so get on board <laughs>